shut down north and southbound traffic. Did you copy? They suit up, strap on their gear, and hit the water. Diving's another world. You got air breathers and water breathers. We're down there with, with the fish in their environment. So I don't know how else to describe it other than it is relaxing and, and breathing underwater. But this might not be relaxing for everyone. Investigator Robert Moody is diving into a crime scene. As a 20-year veteran diver with the sheriff's office, he's seen it all. But sometimes he says he can't see a thing. I'd say visibility was 10 to 15 feet today, meaning I could see 10 to 15 feet ahead of me. Uh, in the Carroll Woods, you had lucky if you had three to five feet, and most of the time we were working in, in one foot, meaning that from here to the, to the mic is what we could see. And then you're just more or less working blind and working with just whatever you can with your hands. Today's mission? Hoisting a car from the bottom of the river, a Volvo reportedly stolen in 1996. We go down, we actually take straps and we put straps around the front tires and the rear tires, and then we tie airbags to them. These float bags are designed to lift the car out of the water. Once they're attached, the car will just rise to the top, as you can see here. Now the dive team is attaching the car to a line, and that tow truck is reeling it in. Depending on what's inside the car, like mud, silt, or even zebra mussels, it can take as many as five hours to get a job like this done. It's far from routine. Divers have to be ready for anything. That would probably be the difficult part of today was the current. Other than that, it went just as planned. A mission accomplished and an 18-year-old mystery finally solved. In Oswego, Rachel Polanski, News Channel 9.